Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Manav Jha and in this video, we are going to talk about basics of stock market. We will be covering topics like what is stock, what are the two major stock exchanges in India, what is market capitalization, how prices of stock rise and fall, what is stop loss and things to keep in mind before buying any stock. I have tried my best to explain all these terms in simple language so let's get started without wasting any time. Before understanding stock market, let's understand what is stock. What is stock? Kya hota hai? Stock is a piece of business, a little part of ownership in a company. Suppose kisi company ko 1 lakh rupees chahiye. Basically, this amount is very big hota hai, but to do a simple math, we will take this amount. Ko leke now, what this company can do? या तो ये हजार रुपए के सौ शेयर बेचे या सौ रुपए के हजार शेयर बेचे मान लीजिए ये सौ रुपए के हजार शेयर बेच रही है और आपने इसके दस शेयर खरीद लिए तब आप इस कंपनी के छोटे से हिस्से के ओनर बन जाएंगे नाउ दैट डजेंट मीन कि आपके पास डिसीजन लेने की पावर आ जाएगी बट जब भी ये कंपनी प्रॉफिट उठाएगी उसका कुछ हिस्सा आपको भी मिलेगा नाउ कैन यू इन्वेस्ट इन एवरी कंपनी द आंसर इज नो यू कैन ओनली इन्वेस्ट इन पब्लिकली लिस्टेड कंपनीज जैसे आपका एक छोटा सा बिजनेस है उसमें कोई भी आके इन्वेस्ट नहीं कर सकता ना बिकॉज दैट इज अ प्राइवेट कंपनी अनलेस योर कंपनी इज पब्लिकली लिस्टेड इन स्टॉक मार्केट उसमें कोई भी ऐसे ही आके इन्वेस्ट नहीं कर सकता नाउ दैट वी हैव लर्न व्हाट इज स्टॉक लेट सी वेयर यू कैन बाय एंड सेल इट यू कैन बाय एंड सेल स्टॉक इन स्टॉक मार्केट ऑल्सो नोन एज स्टॉक एक्सचेंज बेसिकली दे आर टू स्टॉक एक्सचेंज इन इंडिया फर्स्ट इज बॉम्बे स्टॉक एक्सचेंज एंड सेकेंड इज नेशनल स्टॉक एक्सचेंज Bombay Stock Exchange Index is known as Sensex. It has around 5,500 companies listed on it. But these indexes are what? Whenever we want to know how the country's economic development is going, we look at the financial performance of shares in the stock exchange. As I said, there are 5,500 companies listed on Bombay Stock Exchange. Now, you can't check financial performance of all the companies. That's why we check the financial performance of top 30 companies of Sensex. If these 30 companies are performing well, then we can say the country's economic development is also going good. Now, the index of National Stock Exchange is known as Nifty. National Stock Exchange has around 1600 companies listed on it. And we judge Nifty based on the performance of top 50 companies out of 1600. But how does this decide that which company is top 30 or top 50? This decides on the market capitalization ke base. Pe. Basically, you have to calculate the total number of shares of the company multiplied by value of each share. If kisi company has 5,000 shares hai at the base price of 50 rupees each share, that company's market capitalization will be $2,50,000. Now we have covered topics like what is stock, where you can buy and sell it, what is market capitalization, Let's talk about why the price of stocks increase and decrease. So it's basic economics, it's the game of demand and supply. If the demand of any given stock is high and the supply is low, then the stock's prices will also touch the sky. And if the demand is low and supply is high, then the prices of stock will fall down. A market when shares price are increasing is called bull market and when the shares price are declining, it is called bear market. Oh no. It is called bear market. Now let's talk about things to keep in mind while buying shares. Number one, company's past performance. Check how company has performed over the last years and if possible, look for long term. Check at what rate the company has given returns in the last 10 to 20 years. Number two, future. Think about the product that the company is selling and ask yourself, does the demand of this product will grow in the near future? If your answer is yes, then only go ahead with your investment. Number three, how company distributes dividend. Dividend simply means when the company you have invested in makes extra profit, it will share some percentage of it with you. You have to check how the company distributes dividend with its shareholders. Check the company's dividend yield. The dividend yield is the percentage of how much a company pays in dividend each year. Now there are many more things to research before buying any stock but that would be a bit confusing for beginners. We will talk about it in another video. Now let's talk about the most important thing that will save you from making huge losses in stock market. I'm talking about stop loss. Stop loss is an order to sell a stock once the stock reaches a certain price. For example, today you have one share of Reliance that is the price of 2500 rupees. If you can't take a loss from 500, then you will set the value of stop loss of 2000. Now, as you sell your Reliance stock from 2000, your stock will sell yourself. Stop loss can save you from making huge losses in stock market. 
So that's it. We have covered all the basics of stock market. If you have any other questions, please do let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and share it with your friends. I'll meet you in the next video. Thanks for watching.